Hello, dear friends. It's good to be together again. Uh, today, I am actually at what's called the Ridgecrest Conference Center, Black Mountain, North Carolina. It's a very beautiful area, and you can maybe see that it's evening, and it's actually Sunday evening, September 25th. Uh, now, this is prepared for the Wednesday, September 28th um, video post, and I'm not quite sure when it'll be posted, but uh, I am doing it now because starting early tomorrow morning, all the bishops of the Anakin Church in North America are going into what is called a conclave. And in a minute, I'll tell you a little bit about that. But let me just read a few verses from Hebrews 10, first of all. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Hebrews 10, 23 to 25. Well, um, the, the Hebrews passage clearly is speaking about uh, that God's people are called to get together. Uh, and that, in fact, uh, isolation can often be a, a source of, of weakness and uh, leading to uh, difficulties. And, and so we need one another. That's the point. Uh, and even although sometimes we don't feel like getting together, actually, it's what we, what we need. So things like the pandemic, for instance, uh, as much as there were some things that we learned through it, also, it was certainly something that caused many of us to have less opportunity to be together. And certainly, as the bishops of the Anakin Church in North America, uh, since 2020, there's been nowhere near as many opportunities for us to be together and to, to have serious conversation and prayer and Bible study and, uh, and uh, to, to have good discussion. Um, so uh, what is a conclave? Well, a conclave is a private meeting. Uh, it'll be the third one that I've been involved with in my uh, life as a bishop. The first one was in 2014. The second one was in 2017. And here it is in 2022. Uh, it's a private meeting in the sense that uh, none of us will be reporting, he said, th that other person said, and this is what happened. There may be a statement which will come out to give some things that we've come to together that we want to share but as to the actual what happened in the meeting in terms of sharing, that is something that we are banding together in prayer and in Bible study and in a discussion uh, where we won't be, uh, you know, uh, looking to our computers and all of those kinds of things. That's the reason, actually, why I'm doing this on Sunday night is because it seems like once we're into the beginning on Monday morning, which will go, Lord willing, until Friday at noon, um, we don't want to break it up. Uh, and, and so for that reason, that's, that's what's happening. Well, uh, so, so I, I guess what I'm asking for is for prayer for us as bishops. Um, we so value the opportunity to meet together and not neglect it, uh, to encourage one another, to challenge one another, uh, because the day of the Lord, his return is, is drawing near. And uh, there is a finite amount of time for us to bring the gospel to the world. And so as bishops, uh, we want to be faithful uh, in our leadership under the, under the lordship of Jesus um, to be able to do all that we can do as the Anakin Church in North America, uh, as part of GAFCON, etc., so I'm going to uh, uh, pray, uh, pray a couple of prayers, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll send them to Scott Hunt, and he maybe will post them. <coughs> and if you would like to use them in your prayers this week, that would be wonderful, and it would be greatly appreciated. Almighty and everlasting God, by your Holy Spirit, you presided in the council of the blessed apostles, and you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to be with your church to the end of the world. Be with the College of Bishops of your church assembled this week in conclave in your name and presence. 
Save them, save us from all error, ignorance, prejudice, and pride. And of your great mercy, direct, sanctify, and govern them, govern us in our work. By the mighty power of the Holy Spirit, that the order and discipline of your church may be maintained, and that the gospel of Christ may be truly preached, truly received, and truly followed in all places, breaking down the kingdom of sin, Satan, and death, till all your scattered sheep, being gathered into one fold, become one, become partakers of everlasting life through the merits and death of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. And another prayer. Gracious and Holy Father, please give our bishops in conclave the intellect to understand you, reason to discern you, a diligence to seek you, wisdom to find you, a spirit to know you, a heart to meditate upon you, ears to hear you, eyes to see you, a tongue to proclaim you, a way of life pleasing to you, and patience to wait for you, and perseverance to look for you. Amen. Well, it's it's going to be quite a week. And incidentally, you might pray for the weather uh, because uh, another hurricane is apparently on its way. Uh, and, uh, you know, in terms of our ability to get to the next place and to get home, etc., uh, that that might be affected by these things. So pray for wisdom and for the weather. We continue to pray for our dear friends in the Maritimes and in, uh, and, in uh, Newfoundland who have been so profoundly affected by Fiona. Uh, we pray for mercy for those who are caring for folks uh, and for uh, recovery uh, and uh, rebuilding their lives for those who have been so profoundly affected. So, dear friends, we have a wonderful Lord and Savior, Jesus. We have a wonderful gospel, the power of God to save to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Uh, and it works in every case. Uh, and so we want to search the scriptures. Uh, and every opportunity we have, open our mouths and speak to people about Jesus. From Ridgecrest Center in North Carolina, I wish you God's blessing. Thanks for your prayers.